What is up everyone? Welcome to another October daily video where I'm doing 31 days of Halloween drawing. Today I'm going to be drawing a black cat. Honestly, I don't want a black cat anywhere near me right now because I do not need any more bad luck than I already have. Just saying. All right, everyone, let's get started on making our black cat. This should be a lot of fun. This one's going to be cutesy compared to uh, maybe the last couple that I've made. So let's see. Circle. Let's bring this up. I'm actually using my finger because then, ooh, then I don't get the pressure sensitivity side of it all. And then it should be a little more even then. Let me move this one just a little bit. Grab the selection tool. Move it to where it's supposed to go. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying these. I am doing my best to... Ooh, forgot to turn this back down. Um, I'm doing my best to try and talk and make this stuff at the same time. I'm not used to normally doing that. I, a lot of times, draw while I am um, listening to music, listening to a podcast. Uh, my favorite normally is actually to listen to an audiobook. So not having those audiobooks playing in the background um, is a little different for me. And biggest thing that I got to try to do, which I know I've done a couple times, is not completely space out for 15, 20 minutes of doing these drawings. But I hope that this is still all being very entertaining. I feel like as I'm making these videos, um, I'm getting a little better at it. Um, but sometimes as the day goes on, and doing a couple of these um, start getting a little more tired so I tend to probably space out a little bit more because of that uh, now I made two separate layers one with the eye on the other one with the hat and stuff like that so I could just go here and erase where it overlaps give it a nice clean look that way there we go I can combine those and continue to work. Let's see. I like making um, like wizard hats and witches hats because they're very. Um, you can make them very like spindly and kind of make them your own. This guy here. I'm um, sorry if I'm stuffy or I make weird noises. I, my allergies are kicking my butt lately. So I'm doing my best to try not to cough and sniffle doing these recordings, but can't make any promises and I feel like I've been doing it a lot already. So I'm sorry ahead of time. Get rid of this, there we go. That's why I like doing that um, uh, a separate layer so I can just do those quick erases like that and then just keep going. I don't have to fret whether or not I'm making a clean line underneath something as I'm erasing so I can just kind of go, 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 which is exactly how I want to do these. Uh, that's why I did these sketches beforehand um, to make these videos not go on forever since I am trying to do these a little more live than I usually do to try to explain what I'm doing. So getting those sketches done beforehand definitely, definitely help. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I just ate. I wonder if that's showing up on camera or on my, on my uh, microphone or not my stomach keeps growling over and over and I literally just ate so I don't know why it's angry maybe it's angry for because of what I ate and I guess we'll see eyes I always love making cute eyes because all you really have to do is make them big and leave very little space for the um the whites of the eyes and just have just massive pupils 
and I think that always makes them look extra cute. If you've watched the videos already this month, these are a set of brushes I made myself. Uh, they are available in the link below. So you want to check those out, get them for yourself. Um, I hope if you do get them, you do enjoy them. And if you do get them, share a drawing that you made using them because that is something I would love to see. And I always love seeing art that all of you guys make. So if you want to tag me on Instagram or on um, Twitter, that's the name of that website, uh, feel free to do so. I would love to see your art. If you want any critiques on anything, um, leave that with a leave the picture of it with a comment and saying that you want a critique. Um, I can give you a DM'd um, critique, or if you want, I can do it on the actual post itself. Just kind of let me know what you want out of that, and I'd be more than willing do my part if you guys are buying stuff like my um, shirts or my brushes or anything like that the least I could do is give you guys a little critique on your guys's stuff as well so feel free leave that in the comments leave a link to your drawing to whatever and I will take a look at it If you're like me and you absolutely love Halloween, make sure you let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year. All the spooky stuff gives me a reason to watch horror films without being judged. Granted, I don't think people judge as often for horror films like they used to. think maybe give it a little eyebrows like this all right we're gonna add a new layer and since it's gonna be a black cat I gotta go in the that kind of hue but I don't want everything to be solid black because it just wouldn't work so let's turn on the sketch line now turn our line work into a reference so that when we drop colors in should just yep there we go should just drop right in just like that now this is if I haven't said it yet this is procreate on the iPad I'm using a third gen iPad with the first gen uh, Apple Pencil. So, if, in case you were wondering, that is what I am using. Um, let's go with a desaturated reddish orange for the hat. Let's do like purple or something for the band around the hat to see how that looks. All right, and the base colors are all done now. I think it's starting to look pretty cute. Okay, let's go for shadows now. We're gonna go to black, make a new layer. Turn it into a clipping mask so it clips to the um, base layer so I don't go out the lines, which I tend to do a lot because I am hasty. Okay, so let's go with... So I'm just going to go with this broad 
shadowing right now. And then I'll come back in and clean up where I don't want these shadows. This always ends up being kind of one of the faster ways to do this. And with me making a bunch of these videos and trying to do these live, I am going to do this pretty much on all of them. So if you've missed any of them this month or you haven't seen any and this is the first video you've come to, um, I'll leave a link for the videos in the card as well as a link to, or a link in the description. So if you want to check out the other videos from this month, um, I would really appreciate it. I've been putting a lot of work into these videos. Um, but if not, and you're just here just for this one, um, I hope you're having fun. And welcome. All right, I think that's a good place to start. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the opacity, ooh, turn the opacity down. So we get a nice strong shadow there. And we're gonna go in and adjust where we want these shadows. Um, I'm gonna go to the fine liner now, or to the um, streamlined one and start adding shadows in. Okay, coming now is one of my favorite parts and what area I think is one of the most important things to do. And that is to add some rim lighting. Um, let's go to the streamline. Give this a little sharper. There we go. And this will help break up these areas that are really heavily in shadow. The stomach area go especially for something like this where it's the black cat so it's darker it's good to break up a little bit of that heavy shadow back here all right now an important part, got to add a little bit of highlights, oops, highlights, white, let's, uh, actually, let's do, yeah, let's just do white for now. Um, I'm not going to add much highlights, I'm just going to add a couple of these little glows on some of the hairs, Get some over on this knee. don't do heavy um, highlights on the edges but I am this time let's see how it turns out sometimes it looks really good sometimes it does not so hopefully this is the side that it does look good let me get rid of some of these shadows in here Yeah, I normally don't go super heavy with the highlights, so this is looking pretty good in my books. I need to... So now time for some important little extra lines that we might want. Some you know, freckles, which I'm gonna add a couple little wrong brush. Other extra lines that we might want. Get some leading lines here. Tell the viewer where their eye should maybe go next if they're staring at that specific spot. Mm -hmm. 
extra bit of line work on a separate layer because then I can just kind of go and, and delete anything that I may need to delete and erase, however you want to word that. Oh, I've got to bring the um, passy down on these highlights. And last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little moon reference off on this guy. Back to here. There we go. And we'll add another layer. Uh, we're going to do clipping mask. And then we'll go for a white. Let's go to our airbrush. Give this a Gaussian blur. The moon kind of um, shiny there. We're going to combine those. I'm going to do another Gaussian blur on the actual moon itself now. And then let's go behind here. Make a night sky. Now, is there a star brush in here? I feel like there's got to be one, right? Yeah, clouds. Touch up vintage. Uh, wait, luminosity. Um, no star brush, actually. That's something I should make um, myself at some point here. Let's just do spray paint. And we'll go white. Make one more layer above that. And I'm going to Gaussian blur that so it doesn't look so... There we go. All right, everyone, there it is, our black cat. I think it is absolutely adorable. This is one of the 31 videos I am doing this month for Halloween. So if you've missed any of them, make sure to check out the link in the card or in the description. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss any of these videos. Make sure that little bell is on so you get prompted each day when these come up. But like always, keep drawing, and until next time, bye.